Hello everybody, welcome to our YouTube channel. In previous videos, we have learnt that in our body, so many waste products are generated and these waste products are carried by blood and transport to the kidneys. In kidneys, they are filtered and forms urine. In this video, we are going to know about what happens if both kidneys fail completely. Kidneys are vital organs for survival. Several factors affect kidney failure such like infections, injury, very high blood pressure, very high blood sugar and restricted blood flow to kidneys. In these situations, in that person's blood is not filtered and urine is not formed. So the waste products are accumulated in the body and they are turning into harmful to our body and they lost their activeness and it leads to death of that person. Complete and irreversible kidney failure is called end stage renal disease or ESRD. If kidneys stop working completely, our body is filled with extra water and waste products. This condition is called uremia. In this condition, the person's hands and feet may swell and they feel tired and weak because their body needs clean blood to function properly. So is there any solution to this problem? For kidney failure, there are two solutions. One is dialysis. Second one is kidney transplantation. Now, we are going to know about each one in detail. First one, dialysis. In kidney damaged persons, from their blood, the waste products are separated by artificially. This process here called hemodialysis. In this process, they use a hemodialysis machine is used to filter the blood of a person with kidney damage. In dialysis machine, having a channels or tubes which are made up of cellophane and these tubes are embedded in the dialyzing fluid. In tubes, there is a membrane with separation. Now, the person's blood is taken from the main artery and mixed with an anticoagulant such as heparin and then the blood pumped into the dialyzer machine. In this apparatus, blood flows through the channels or tubes of dialyzer machine. These tubes are embedded in the dialyzing fluid and the membrane separates the blood flowing inside the tube and dialyzing fluid. The dialyzing fluid and blood both are same in composition but only one difference is there. Blood having a waste products and dialyzing fluid does not. Eyes, nitrogenous wastes are absent in dialyzing fluid. These substances from the blood move out freely thereby cleaning the blood of its wastes. This process is called dialysis. This process is similar to function of the kidney but it is a different uh, that there is no reabsorption in dialyzing machine. The cleaned blood is again pumped back to the body through a vein after adding an anticoagulant. Each uh, dialysis session takes uh, for 3 to 6 hours and the persons they may take regular dialysis for 3 to 4 days once and this method has been using for thousands of uremic or kidney failure patients all over the world and the second solution is kidney transplantation the best long term solution for kidney failure is kidney transplantation the first kidney transplantation was performed between identical twins in 1954 by Dr. Charles 
of Nagel was a surgeon at Washington in USA. In India, first kidney transplantation was done on 1st December 1971 at the Christian Medical College, Velu, Tamil Nadu. A functioning kidney is used in transplantation method and the donor preferably a close relative to the kidney damaged person. The kidney that is received by recipient must be matched to his body and the immune system of recipient does not reject it. That's why the recipient must need the blood donor which is very close relative. Modern clinical procedures have increased the success rate of kidney transplantation operations. Nowadays, the process of organ donation helps a lot of kidney failure patients. Organs are collecting from brain dead patients also and then these are transplanted to the recipients. And in the process of kidney transplantation arise uh, some questions here. First one, where is the transplanted kidney fixed in the body of a kidney failure patient? The transplanted kidney fixed uh, below the regular kidney's position of a failure patient. What about the failed kidneys? The failed kidney remain lies in the failure patient body. Can donor survive his life with a single kidney without any complications? Yes, one kidney can do work of two kidneys. So, a donor can survive his life with a single kidney. Key points. Kidneys are vital organs of survival. Complete and irreversible kidney failure is called end-stage renal disease. If kidneys stop working completely, our body is filled with extra water and waste products. This condition is called uremia. Eyes, nitrogenous wastes are absent in dialyzing fluids. These substances from the blood move out freely, thereby Cleaning the blood of its waste, this process is called dialysis. The best long term solution for kidney failure is kidney transplantation. A functioning kidney is used for transplantation from a donor, preferably a close relative to the recipient person.